Shame, I must greet you in this bitter cold without a hearty drink. It's no easy feat getting here. I know you didn't come to keep me company. In your heart, there must be something you can't get over. Or someone you can't let go of. Same goes for me. I can't kill that monkey. No one can. Except himself. But at last, I see. This is the only way. He had no choice. And neither did I. Today's clash didn't satisfy my spirit. Go back with me to the sky. Let us get drunk before we continue this fight.
I hear tell this Yaogua is I will rank a thousandfold above that king. As his sire, he reveres me, and like a deity, he serves me. How oh, dare I think I'm his slave? Kindly chant the loosening spell and release that, Tathagata, so that you can take back my headland and I can be free. The court of the Yaogua. What Yaogua said he knew is somewhat. Surely he is no mere mortal. He must be somebody from the court. Great. The journey ends here. The line is wide to bring them down. Watch me rip it off. And break free! My brothers tested you at my behest. All for this day. And only now do I understand that fight. No prestige can shackle him. No band can keep him caged. A mortal death for an unbound mind and will. May you not fail him. I'm now at peace. Your journey, though, has just begun. Say, what's to come of destiny if he steps out of that mural? <laughs> I make a living by reading what was written. The signs alone tell what's to come. What's to come is what's not yet written. No one can read what's not written. Destiny is written in what's done. What's done shapes what's to come, not escape. <laughs> it's all written for me, if only I uncover all that occurred. So? Hmm? There really is something even you cannot read. <laughs> That's good. Very good. <laughs> Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face the final ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name!
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tung Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. Does it matter if you become a Buddha? That headband has always been on your head. <laughs> Keep those eyes wide open. Watch me rip it off. And break free! Zhu Wukong, when you defied the Celestial Court, I had to seal you beneath the mountains with my immense power. Yet, after enduring punishment, you embrace the dark, uplifted good against evil, and subdued Yao Guais throughout the journey. For your contribution, I now bestow upon you the title of Victorious Fighting Buddha. He defied the Celestial Court, and the Jade Emperor imposed three ordeals. Only when the chicken finishes pecking the rice, the dog laps up the flowers, and the lamp burns through the key, the rain will fall.
Bottoms up, brothers. One final toast before we crash the Celestial Palace! <laughs>